And also, other stuff in the hip hop world. Last week, the whole Nicki Minaj, Cardi B situation. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I love hip hop beefs. I live for hip hop beefs. Um, let me write something. Yeah, I live for hip hop beefs. Oh my goodness. So Cardi B and Nicki Minaj. So Cardi B came out with her album May, no, March? No, April. April 6th. And then Nicki Minaj, the next week, released two singles. Friday, April the 13th. That's past Friday. Okay, today's, yeah, today's April 17th. Just to give you all context. Um, so at first I was like, this beef, I'll explain it a little bit, but my expectation or like my first impression was like, eh, this is whack. Like, it's normal hip hop beef. Like, Nicki and Remy Ma's beef last year was like, eh, it was a, it was whack. <clears throat> because Remy's old and Nicki is like in her prime. But this, <clears throat> this has substance. This has a lot of things going on. Um, so, Nikki, apparently, it all started with the Motorsport song. That banger of a song with, like, the, with Migos, Nikki, Cardi. Yeah, so many people on there. Um, love that song. Love it. I, that was, that's like my go-to weekend party song and it still is and so Nikki I think it all started when Nikki was with an interview at Zane Lowe well there was already rumors of this happening but like Nikki confirmed it with Zane Lowe she explained that her verse on Nikki Mon- on Motorsport was a little different because Cardi wasn't on the song at first so it was just going to be Migos and Nikki and so Nikki has a line in the lyrics in her verse of this song it was like um Cardi the Q Cardi the QB I'm Nick Lombardi um which uh, what what's the original it's something the who's the QB in the original uh let me look it up what one second one second one second one second Cardi the QB she uh uh Quavo Quavo the QB Quavo Quavo that's right brain fart so Quavo the QB, I'm Nick Lombardi. So at first it was if Cardi the QB, I'm Nick Lombardi. So you know Nick Lombardi is the Vince Lombardi, Nicky, blah blah blah. Vince Lombardi is like the the father of football. The co- quarterback is like I guess his son, you know. <clears throat> and so Nicky was like, yeah, Cardi's kind of like my son in a way, but like she's still dominating. And so Cardi got on the song. Because, you know, she's the fourth Migo member. And from what I have heard is that Cardi's label, Atlantic Records, told Nicki and explained, like, we don't like the Cardi, the QB line. And they asked Nicki, like, hey, can you, like, not do that? And that's confusing too, because if, if I was Nikki, I'd be like, no, <laughs> no. But like, I guess Atlantic was really begging Nikki, like, no, like it'd be awkward. Like, I guess they convinced her somehow, somehow. I don't know, somehow. And so she changed it to if Quavo the QB. Quavo didn't have any problem. I don't. I guess Quavo didn't care. So then, this sparks up other stuff, which Nikki has been explaining. See, Atlantic Records, back in the day, really wanted Nicki Minaj. I'm not just saying this, like, this is like just full. I don't know why people are not talking about this. Atlantic Records really wanted Nicki. When Nicki was coming up, like 2009, 2010. Everybody was bidding on her because she was the next like female rapper like those are Those are rare Back then it was just like all oh, Remy Ma, Lil' Kim like those were like early 2000s 
So it's, it was like, oh, that voice, geez. It was. Okay. It was like five to ten years of like no f- main female rapper. And so Nikki came along. I mean, Sierra, but Sierra wasn't a rapper, rapper. Or Cassie. But okay. So Nicki Minaj was being bidded on. Bidded on? By so many labels. But the main two was Atlantic and Young Money with Lil Wayne and all that. And so Nikki was like, I'm going to go with Lil Wayne because he's kind of hot right now. So we went to Young Money and, you know, Drake, you know the whole story. Drake went there too and they uh, formed an empire. So Atlantic is like, man, we really missed out on Nikki and now we hate Nicki Minaj, blah, blah, blah. And so five, no, seven years later, Atlantic Records finally got their female rapper and Cardi B. Hmm. Hmm. So, coming back to motorsport, Atlantic and Nikki has had some previous history. So you know, Atlantic does not like Nikki. And they had her change the lyrics. You know, blah 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 blah. So that's all been happening. And also, I've looked at many interviews of of Cardi B's, and they've always there's been a couple, two or three times, they have asked Cardi B about Nicki Minaj, and Cardi was like really awkward, and though like when she was giving out her answer, like she was like. Oh, you know, you know how Cardi is. Like, she's she was, like, playing around with the question. Like, bro, like, that's, Nikki is, like, your role model. Like, that is the person to be. You are, that was your lane. Like, you're supposed to respect Nicki Minaj. <laughs> you're supposed to respect, especially you as a female rapper. Like, you're the next one. You got to respect the previous and so they've always asked her about Nikki, and Kari's been very just like nonchalant, just like never said anything about oh she's the queen of rap and like blah blah blah. And like Kari's very respectable with other people, and it's just like it never was with Nikki. So people are like oh Nicki Minaj wasn't respectful of others. Oh 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 you are wrong. You go go look up any Nicki Minaj interview. You can look at like Nikki and Lil Kim. I, okay, this is like back in her like 2000 early, earlier this decade when she was coming up. When they were asking about Remy and Lil Kim, like Nikki was like very like respectful. Like, oh, those are the, those are the queens. Like, if I can if I can be like them, man, that'd be that'd be crazy. And um, and so, Cardi definitely gave all vibes of like, man, I'm not supposed to talk about Nikki. I don't really need. I'm not supposed to really like like Nikki. Mm. Mm mm mm. And honestly, I'm on Team Nikki. <laughs> if we're dividing. Like, I love Cardi. Like, I have nothing against Cardi, but, like, in this scenario, she's in the wrong. Or Atlantic is in the wrong. One of the team, one of those team members, one of those two is in the very wrong. And I get if Cardi's, like, supposed to respect Atlantic, blah, blah, blah. But Cardi and Atlantic, they're wrong. And also, why does Cardi B and Atlantic care about that lyric of, like, if Cardi the QB of Nick Lombardi? Like, that's true. That's true. You are you are the daughter of Nicki Minaj, basically. Nicki has been killing the rap game as, the like, the main female rapper since from 09 to 2016. Seven years of, like, no one touching her. And so, of course... She's probably the best female rapper in history. In history. So what what problem is that for you? Like, that's one of the reasons I love Drake. Is because he respects Lil Wayne. He, of course, Lil Wayne fathered Drake. Or he made Drake. That's why I, I love Drake's respect for Lil Wayne. Of, like, other acts. Because those are the previous people that brought them in the rap game. So this whole Cardi B, like, what 
problem with the lyric. Now, if y'all were like in competition, like if y'all were coming up together in 2010, 2011, now that, that would be just disrespectful. <laughs> that would be crazy. Like, there was, uh, who am I trying to compare? Uh, like, in 2013, when Kendrick and J. Cole were kind of coming up at the same time, uh, like, Kendrick was like, oh, Cole the QB, I'm, I'm Kendrick Lombardi. Or, y'all know what I'm talking about. If, like, those are equal people coming up together, that's that's disrespectful. But these people, Nikki and Cardi, are in the wrong generations. Like, I grew up in the Nikki lane. I grew up when I was like, I remember listening to her in elementary, or no, 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 junior high, junior high. That was Lil, Lil Wayne was elementary. But like junior high, knockout, like with Lil Wayne features. Well, um, so I'm on Team Nikki. Because Cardi, you're, there's nothing right about your situation. Um, like, you gotta, you gotta respect Nikki's calmness about it or quietness like she's putting it in the tracks she's letting the tracks speak for itself instead of her like oh ha 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 you know like um but you know same old same old same old same old um Cardi is killing the rap game. She's definitely the fem- the go-to female rapper. I have no doubt about that. Like even with the situation, Cardi is taking over. She she might get over Nicki, but that that doesn't counter the fact of like now, like now, no, right now. If you're gonna ask me like who is the goat female rapper, like even Lil Kim is still better than you, Cardi, or Remy. Like it's. Nikki, Remy, Lil Kim, and then Cardi's like four or five, maybe not even four. She's just starting. She's just that's my main point. You're just starting, Cardi. Yes, you got a number one song, but you gotta do it for more years. 2017, 2018, you've been killing it. But we're gonna see in 2019, 2020, 2021 if you're gonna still be there. Which I think Cardi will be, but not now. Not now. <laughs> I sound like Zayd Low. I love me some Zayd Low. Just the whole calmness of his of his questions, like Nikki and his Australian or British, whatever accent. I think it's Australian. I can't tell them apart. Sorry. Um, he's like Nikki. <laughs> he's like Nikki. Are, are you saying something about Cardi? <laughs> That was a horrible impression. But yeah, I love Zayn. I love me some Zayn. Um, yeah, so again, so much happening in the hip-hop world. So much. So much. Um, 